Close your eyes and put aside all your thoughts, anything outside. Just be right here with the breath. Watch the breath coming in, watch the breath going out. See if you can tell the mind to do something and then see if it obeys. As the Buddha said, that's a sign of wisdom when you can get your mind under control. Think the thoughts you want to think and not the thoughts you don't want to think. Will the things that you want to will and not the things that you don't. This is a beginning step in getting the mind under control. Tell it to be with the breath and then give it a task. What kind of breathing is comfortable right now? What feels best for the body? So you're not just sitting here doing nothing, you're experimenting. Try long breathing for a while, try short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. See what feels good for the body right now. This is free food, free medicine, because the body needs the breath. You can go for a couple days without food, you can go a couple days without water, but you can't go very long without breathing. This is the body's basic sustenance. And as with food outside, if you fix the breath so that it feels really good, it's going to do more than just keep you alive. It gives you a place where you can settle down in the present moment with a sense of well-being. And then you look at all the other things that you hold on to and you realize that a lot of them are simply for the sake of having a sense of well-being, but here it is free. And so you can look at those other things and say, some of them are unskillful. They give you a sense of well-being for a short time, but then they have a long-term payment. Is it worth it? Now, if you have nothing else, you'd say, yeah, it's worth it. But now you've got something better. This changes the balance of power inside. Free happiness. And it comes from giving up certain things. So you can focus on what you've got that inside that's really good. This is the pattern all the way through the teachings, from the very beginning up to the very end. You find that you're holding on to things that are actually making you miserable, even though you think they're necessary. When you find out that they're not necessary, and you begin to see their drawbacks, and then you can let go. And you've got something better. It's always a trade-up with generosity. You're exchanging material things for a sense of well-being inside. They say that money can't buy you happiness, but money, when it's invested in giving rise to an inner sense of well-being like this through being generous, then you do have the happiness. You know how to squeeze some goodness out of your material things. The same with the precepts. There are certain things you may want to do, but you realize they're going to cause harm in the long term, so you say no. You make that a principle that you're not going to lie, you're not going to kill, you're not going to steal anything not have illicit sex, not take intoxicants. And by giving up those things, you find you get something much better in return, a sense of well-being inside, a sense of self-respect. And of course, the same with the meditation. You give up your thoughts that would like to wander at just anywhere as they please. You say, no, you stay within certain boundaries. Stay within the body. And at first it seems like you're giving up a lot, but then as you explore what you've got in this sense of the body as you feel from within, you realize there are a lot of benefits that you've overlooked. So the teaching is always a trade-up. You take the things you've got and you give them away selectively, and bit by bit by bit the level of the mind rises. And it gets a sense of well-being that's more and more inner and comes from within, more and more stable. So that's the, bas the basic principle of the practice. You trade up. It's one of the passages in the canon that says you, you can trade all the way up to nirvana. At that point you don't need to trade anything anymore because you've got the ultimate happiness. But until then, look at the areas where you can trade up, and you'll find that you benefit. <laughs>